welcome to G5 Studios. I'm Gerald and I'm very excited to share with you how to connect your tablet or your PC to the Behringer XR18. Now we're going to do this in two ways. The first way is I'm going to show you how to connect to the mixer using its built-in Wi-Fi and the second way I'm going to show you is with an external router. So the Behringer XR18 in my case is housed right inside of the Kraken. If you want to know more about that just check out the link in the description below and we're going to also use a macbook pro ipad mini and to have an audio source i have an iphone here with dj2 on it so let's get everything all set up Okay, everybody, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know what I'm working with. I have a MacBook Pro that I'm going to connect to the XR Mixer with, as well as an iPad Mini. And of course, in the Kraken, we have the XR Mixer. Now, if you want to learn more about this amazing box that I call the Kraken, I'll put a link to that video in the comment section below, and you can go and check it out. Um, the other thing I have here is an iPhone with DJ2 and Auto Mix, so that way once we connect these two devices to the mixer, I'll have an audio source to verify the connection with, and you can see the metering and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hook everything up. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Behringer XR18 and some of the important things I think you should know before we connect everything. First, this is a drop snake style mixer. It is wireless, so you don't have any physical like sliders and faders and stuff like that on it. Um, everything is done wirelessly so with this type of mixer you have to have a tablet or a PC to connect to it so that you can control the mix and so beginning at the bottom here these are all your output sections here's where you typically would hook up wedges or monitors as well as any in-ear monitor systems if you have those these two are your main left and right out and of course here is the headphone output with the volume control right next to it accordingly um, this is an 18 channel input mixer so the first 16 here are combo jacks and the very last two channel 17 and 18 are quarter inch jack input so what I'm going to do at this time is go ahead and connect my cable from the iPhone which is a stereo paired right into channel 17 for the left side and channel 18 here for the right side is we have an antenna over here so if you are going to connect wirelessly to the built-in Wi-Fi, you have to make sure the antenna is in up position. Here's the alternate connection via Cat5 cable to say the P16s by Behringer, if you're using those personal monitoring systems. You have a USB connection here, so this can be interfaced to a DAW software program. And here is also some MIDI in and outs. Now here's where the choice between the ethernet connection, Wi-Fi client, and access point, which means the built-in Wi-Fi, is made. The first thing we're going to focus on here is a wireless connection using the built-in Wi-Fi. Over in the remote section right here, we have to put this switch over to access point, which engages the built-in Wi-Fi. The other thing that has to happen is we need to go ahead and put the antenna in the up position. Here I've started DJ2 with the iPhone in auto mix, so there will be a continual music source. That way we can verify our connection once we hook up with the computer and the tablet. We're going to begin to connect first the MacBook Pro to the Wi-Fi of the mixer. So in order to do that, I'm going to go up top here to my Wi-Fi connection. And I'm basically going to look for the network of the mixer. So there's plenty here to choose from, but here it says XR18 right there. And I'm going to go ahead and click that and connect to it. So I've successfully made a connection between this MacBook Pro and the Behringer XR18 mixer. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom here to my XR Edit app and just simply open it up. Although the mix window is open here, I am still not fully connected to the mixer itself. I'm just connected to the Wi-Fi of the mixer. And the reason this step is important because if I'm in a room and there's somebody else with an XR18 near me, um, they're going to have to be a selection process made so I'm going to go into the setup window here in the upper right click on it and now I have a setup menu open so within the setup menu all I have to do here is find my mixer which is right there because I know the name so it doesn't matter if there was another one near me I'm going to click on it it highlights and then I'll hit the connect button here 
Now I have some choices to make once I hit the connect button, which is mixer to PC and PC to mixer. Mixer to PC connections means whatever configurations are inside the mixer, it will make the computer adjust to those settings. And PC to mixer means Whatever configurations I have on my computer, it will make the mixer adjust to those configurations. So let's go ahead and click mixer to PC. And as it's booting up, as soon as that process is finished, we should see a signal on channels 17 and 18 because that's where the iPhone is. And there's our signal. So at this time, I can go ahead and close out my setup menu. And there we are hooked up to the Behringer XR18 via built-in Wi-Fi. The process is pretty much similar when hooking up with an iPad. So what I have to do is go to my setup menu. And what I'm looking for here is the Wi-Fi menu. Currently, I'm hooked up to a Wi-Fi at home. And I'm going to find the XR18 network right there and connect to it. And there it is indicated by the check. So this window is no longer needed. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the XR app right there. And there's my mixer. Same name as the one that showed on the computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it by pushing it. As you can see that the fader started to move and things are taking the configuration from what's already going on on the MacBook Pro. So now I have metering here, as you can see for channels 17 and 18, which is the iPhone. If I unmute this and unmute the master volume, you can also see some metering on the master volume. So with the MacBook Pro and the iPad side by side, I'm going to go ahead on the MacBook and move the fader for the iPhone. And you can see that the same thing is happening on the iPad. And of course, if I were to reach over to the iPad and move that same slider, you can then see that the computer mimics the movements of the iPad. Now, of course, to close things down, I don't like surprises when I set up the next time. So typically what I do is pull my master volume all the way down and mute every single channel before I close out the actual programs. On the MacBook, I just simply go into the upper left corner there to close out the program. Simply click on the red X. And on the iPad, all I have to do here is double tap the home button and sweep up with the window. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and connect to the XR18 using a router. So the antenna is no longer relevant. We're gonna just put it down in the storing position. And since we're gonna be connecting to the X Air through a router, what we have to do in the remote access switch area is move it over to ethernet. And then of course, in this port is where we're gonna hook a CAT5 cable up that's connected from here to a router. Okay, so here's a wireless router and the purpose of this router is to be able to go through it to connect more securely to the Behringer XR. 18 mixer there and here are both ends of the cat5 cables exposed and I want you to take notice of a couple of things one I'm gonna plug this into port one now anytime you are connecting your mixer to the router don't connect in where it says internet but use any of the other out ports right there so now that we have this connected you'll see that there's no indication on the um, activity light right there but when I connect the other end to the mixer there it is you have activity right there and also on the mixer itself there's a yellow light that indicates activity or connection on the mixer so currently in the macbook and in the ipad we are connected to the wi-fi of the xr18 directly and what we're going to do here is find the router, which is right there. Now all I have to do is repeat the process of opening up the XR Edit app on the MacBook Pro. We again have to go into the setup portion of this. So there it is right there. We find our mixer, connect to it, and it is now highlighted. We hit the connect button, and we're going to connect mixer to PC. So everything here is booted up and we have a connection now. So what I'm going to do at this time is go ahead and resize my window. And here we go. So there you see metering on channel 17 and 18, which is our iPhone there. I'm going to unmute it. I'm going to also unmute the master volume and begin to turn it up. And now we have metering 
also indicated on our master volume. Over on the iPad, we're gonna just go ahead into the settings menu and we're gonna enter into the Wi-Fi menu right there and we're gonna look for that mixer which is there connected automatically, it found it. So we just verified that it was connected and we're done with the settings. Now we're gonna open up the XAir app. So there it is. And as soon as I see my mixer there, I'm gonna to connect to it. There it is. And of course, we're gonna scroll over so we can see the metering for the phone. So at this time, we are successfully connected to the XAir mixer through the router. Now all we have to do here to verify that both devices are in sync through the router there is just to move any slider, any fader, and you can see that they are both happening simultaneously. And if I were to move on to the iPad, you can see the same difference happening on the MacBook. Now again, to close this out, I like to mute things and of course turn down the master volume so there's no surprises next time I connect. And we're gonna just, on the computer, hit the red X in the upper left, close it out. And on the iPad, double tap the home screen, swipe up the window. There it is, party people. We have just went through the connection process with the MacBook Pro and the iPad Mini to connect to the Behringer XR18 with its built-in Wi-Fi or through a router for a more secure connection. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified when we post more content. In the meantime, you guys keep the party going. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting. Let's party.